Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 22 of the Chromisa playlist. And in this video, we will set up the adapters that we want to use inside the product details fragment. And now let me show you the adapters that we have inside this fragment. First, we have this adapter, which is responsible to show the images for the view pager. Also, we have two adapters for these two recycler views, the color recycler view and the size recycler view. So let's get it started with the view pager adapter. And for that, inside the adapters package, I'm going to create a new adapter and call this view pager to images. And for the layout of this adapter, it's going to have an image view. So it's very simple. Let's go ahead and create a new layout resource file and call this view pager image item. And inside here, as we said, we're going to have an image view. Keep the width and the height match parent. And we're going to add an ID for this. We can add scale type. Make this fit X and Y. And now add the constraints. So start, start with the parent top top of the parent and now inside this class uh, to create an adapter for view pager it's the same as recycler view adapter if you want to create an adapter to show the images uh, using view pager it's very simple because it is the same process as the recycler view so we're going to extend from the recycler view adapter and in here we're going to pass the view holder so just like so just like the recycler view. Now we close this constructor and we're going to create our view holder class. We're going to have binding for our layout. this one then extend from view holder in here I forgot to add the class keyword and then extend from the view holder class and you can pass binding dot root now in here click alt and enter and click on import now let's create the diff callback For the items of this adapter, string, which is the URL of the image, then we can uh, open curly brackets and override these two functions. I'm gonna compare the object itself because it's a string, so we can do this. Same thing in here. Now we're gonna create our differ. And we can pass and then pass the adapter and the diff callback. And now we can just override the recycler view adapter functions. First, we go into return an instance from a view holder. Here we pass the context and pass the parent, then false. Inside here we can say holder, or first we can get the image. So image equals differ with current list of that position. Then we can say holder dot find. We can send the image. Above here we can create our class uh, or our function, sorry, the byte function. So function bind gonna receive a string. So we call this image path string, and then we can use a glide to show that image. We 
gonna load the image path and we're going to show it inside the image view. Now you can also add uh, the placeholder drawable and the error drawable. So I'll leave that for you if you want to add something in here or for the error drawable, you can actually add something in here. And inside the get item can't, we can just return the size of the list. Now for the color and size recycle reviews, let's actually first create the layout for that. So new layout resource file and in here let's first start with the color layout. So color RV item, create that. So first thing, make this wrap content for the height and in, and in here we would have a circle image which is gonna take 25 dB for width and height and for the color we can give it this one then we will add the constraints and top top of the parent and we also need to add an ID for this so this one is image shadow and for the parent layout we forgot to make the width wrap content so make sure to make a wrap content and in here we will have another circle image so circle image give it 21 db for width and height and for the color we can make it g blue now let's add the constraints so start to the start of our image shadow top to the top same end end same and bottom bottom with the image shadow now this will make sure to put this one in the middle of this one and because we have a list size so it will just show like this and we can add an id image color and now we can add another image view so just an image view make this wrap content for both we also want to center this in the middle so we just add all the constraints with the image color and for this image view we want to have a drawable for that and i will leave the link of that drawable into the description of this video so i'm just gonna paste it in here uh story i just paste it inside the layout file so i'm gonna cut this and move it into the drawable file like that and this is the drawable actually so as you can see this is how it looks like now we can reduce the size so we can make this 18 sp let's see that okay this now let's actually go and set up the adapter so create a new class colors adapter now i'm gonna speed up the video and i will just set up a normal recycle view And now in the binary view holder, we can get the color, which is an integer. So color equals the current list. And we can get the color at that position. Then as we used to, we're going to call the bind function from our view holder and send this color. Now inside the view holder class, we can create the bind function and get the color and we also actually need the position for this one so add that in here too and now what we want to do is to determine which color is selected so if we select the color we're gonna show that shadow wait let me show you that the image shadow and this icon so let's go here and to determine that we're gonna initialize 
a var in here, a variable, and call this selected position. Make this minus one initially. Now in here we can say if the position equals to selected position, then that means that the color is selected. So color is selected, and we can say binding dot apply image shadow dot visibility equals to view visible um i think we should actually go in here and make this invisible by default the shadow so visibility change it to invisible the same for the icon make this invisible and we also need to add an id for this one Now get back to the adapter and we can say image picked the visibility equals to view dot visible and we want to do something about this if statement is to change the color of our circle based on this value. So to do that we can say val image drawable equals to color drawable and here we can pass our color. Now we can add that drawable to our circle so binding dot image color dot set image drawable and we can pass that image uh, drawable and for the else here that means color is not selected so I'm going to copy this comment and change it is not selected in here we can copy this paste it in here and change this to invisible we want to wrap it inside a binding block so binding dot apply Cut this and put it in here. Now we're not done yet. Uh, we want to do something inside the unbind view holder function. So we can say holder dot item view dot set on a click listener. So in a determine when we should change uh, the selected position value. So in here we can say selected position equals to position. Or we can say holder dot adapter position and then we want to refresh our items so we can call notify item changed and we can say our position and now we want to add an if statement in here which I will tell you why we should add that so if selected position is greater or equal to zero then we want to notify on item change listener and we want to set, uh, and we want to send the selected position. Now this one is used to unselect the selected item. So when we click on the item, we basically check if the selected position is greater or equal to zero, which will rebuild the view of this tracker view. So it will go above here and execute the same function for that position, which will execute this one, these lines, to unselect that item. So that's why we need to add this line here. And then uh, after we actually unselect that item, we will actually select the new item by these two lines. And in here we can also invoke the unclick listener of this function. So let's actually create that. Let's click let's create a click. Uh, let's create that using lambda way. So on item click. In here we will actually send the color. Uh, which is an integer and this will return a unit then this might be null so we got just gonna wrap it inside a null check like that and below this we can invoke that so on item click dot invoke and we can send the color can add a question mark in here now finally in the get item count as we use so we're going to return the size of that list. Okay that's it for the colors adapter now for the sizes adapter the same process let's actually create a layout file for that so inside the layout file create a new one and call this size rv item. Uh, I will just go to the color of the item and copy everything from here, paste it in here, and we can make some changes. 
So what we can do is to remove this image view or replace it with a text view and change invisible or delete it. So this will be a visible and for the ID change this to TV size and we can make this uh, the color of this one gray gray 500 and let's add a text for demonstration so I'll just add small for example and then add text alignment make it center um, we can make the width and height wrap content and this should be in the middle now for the text size we can make this 12 SP so like this and for the color let's make it white okay now let's create a new adapter for this one and call this sizes adapter I would just copy everything inside here and we will just make some changes so I'm gonna do that and first of all for our binding instance is gonna be the size uh, RV we don't have that yet okay it's because the name so I'm gonna refactor that let's go in here refactor and make this RV item refactor now we should get that in here as you can see we got it in here and instead of this color, this time we're going to get the size, which is a string. And in here we can delete these lines. Instead, we can just show that text inside our text view. So binding .tv size text equals our size. And we can change this comment to size is selected. So when the size is selected, we're going to show the image shadow. And when it's not, we're going to hide that. That's all we want to do. So here we can also change this. When to size is not selected. Now for our diff callback, we also want to change this to string. Because the sizes are strings. We also can change the items types. And for our differ, it's because we haven't inherited from the adapter class yet. We'll do that later. So in here, this will actually return an instance from our sizes of your holder, which we have not changed the name of that yet. So let's do that. So in here, so in here, sizes view holder. Copy this, paste in here, and we're gonna return that in here as well. And for the binding in here, we can say size item size rv item dot inflate. Um, and the holder here is the sizes view holder. And here in instead of color, we can say size. And in here we can send the size. Um, that's actually it. Now finally we can extend from the recycler view dot adapter and we can pass our size view holder. Size view holder. Then close the constructor. We still get an error here, and it's because we send the color instead. We want to send the size, and in here we actually want to change this to a string. Okay, guys. So that's it for the adapters, and also that's it for this video. I don't want to make it longer. In the next video, we will use save arcs to send objects between two fragments using navigation component with our navigraph. So I wish you have a great day, and catch you in the next video.